Wang Mintong was a princess of Qing dynasty. She was reputed as the most beautiful princess of Qing dynasty by Chinese netizens. People are amazed at her beauty and her obsession with the last emperor, Pu Yi. Wang Mintong was born in year 1913. Her original name was Wan Yan Tongji. Wan Yan was the family name of the Jin dynasty, 1115 to 1234, emperors. Wan Yan Tongji's great-grandfather was one of the highest-ranking military officials. Her mother was the descendant of Emperor Qianlong. Wan Yan Tongji was of the bluest blood in China. Tongji was slim and tall. She had delicate eyes and fair skin. She was educated to be a qualified Chinese noble lady by her mother. Tongji was the typical oriental noble lady, quiet, delicate, and gentle. Born in a noble family, Tongji was allowed to enter the Forbidden City. She then had the chance to meet the last emperor Puai. Puai had accepted both the traditional education and Western education. He can speak English, play tennis, and he liked to tell jokes. Tongji was attracted by his personality and humor. As the noble lady of the Eight Banners, Tongji was qualified to become the consort of Puai. However, she was not selected to be Puai's consorts. Two noble ladies of the Eight Banners were selected. The imperial consort was Wenxiu. The empress was Wanrong. Wanrong was Tongji's maternal cousin. Both Wanrong and Tongji were famous for their beauty and talent among the Eight Banners noble ladies. Tongji was more favored by elders than Wanrong because of her docile character. However, Wanrong was selected to marry Pu Yi. Tongji failed because she was too small. As a traditional noble lady, Tongji was educated to be tolerant and kind. She did not want to hurt other people. She loved Pu Yi deeply. But she never showed her love to Pu Yi after Pu Yi became her cousin's husband. Later, Tongji moved to Tianjin to live with her grandma. When she was 17 years old, she followed her grandma's will and engaged with a noble man with same family background as her. However, this man had some affairs with an actress. Tongji then cancelled the engagement. She returned to Beijing and lived in her family's house. Since then, Tongji kept being single. She may envy her cousin Wanrong for being the wife of Pu Yi. But Wanrong did not live happily with Pu Yi. Pu Yi was impotent. He can't fulfill his duty as the husband. Pu Yi's consort Wenxiu divorced him. Pu Yi blamed Wenxiu's leave for Wanrong not treating her nicely. What's more, Wanrong was treated like a puppet empress in Manchuria. Under such physical and psychological torture, Wanrong became addicted to opium. After the founding of People's Republic of China, Tongji changed her name into a Han ethnic name, Wang Mintong. Wang Mintong lived with her mother, old Madame Wang. They were not noble or rich as before. Still their life was much better than the ordinary Beijing citizens. However, their quiet and peaceful life was interrupted by Pu Yi. Because Pu Yi became the puppet of Japanese during World War II, he was put into jail until year 1959. His house, Forbidden City and his treasures had been taken away by the warlords during the civil wars after Qing Dynasty was ended. In year 1959, Pu Yi returned to Beijing alone. His wife Wanrong already died. Although Pu Yi was a political prisoner with no money, Wang Mintong still loved him. And her whole family was extremely loyal to royal Qin family. Hearing that Pu Yi returned to Beijing, Madame Wang immediately invited Pu Yi to her house for dinner. Madame Wang and her daughter Wang Min Tong were both good at cooking. They served Pu Yi with delicious dishes and good wine. After several cups of wine, Pu Yi started to get drunk and relaxed. He had been the emperor, the puppet of Japanese, and the prisoner. Until then, he felt relaxed and happy. Wang Min Tong and Pu Yi had a good time. Pu Yi told Ming Tong some jokes to make her laugh out loud. Wang Min Tong loved Pu Yi for so many years. 
After this dinner, she was more determined to be Pu Yi's wife. So, she invited Pu Yi again for dinner. However, Pu Yi never went to her house again. Wang Min Tong was at 40s. But she was still pretty. And she was good at sword dancing. Every time she practiced sword dancing in the park, lots of fans watched her. She was not princess anymore, but she still had some antiques and treasures. She must have refused lots of proposals because of her love to Pu Yi. Why Pu Yi refused her? Because she was overqualified. After the twists and turns, Pu Yi only wanted to marry a commoner. He feared Wang Min Tong's noble family background. Wang Min Tong did not know the reason why Pu Yi refused her. She thought that Pu Yi might think that she was not a virgin anymore. So, she even went to the hospital and made a virgin certificate. In 1962, Pu Yi married a nurse, Li Xu Xian. Wang Min Tong cried loudly. But she did not give up. In 1965, Pu Yi was sick in hospital. Every day after 3 p.m., only one person was allowed to enter Pu Yi's ward at one time. Every time Pu Yi's wife went to visit Pu Yi after work, she found that someone was already in Pu Yi's ward. That was Wang Min Tong. Wang Min Tong accompanied and took care of Pu Yi for the whole afternoon. Pu Yi's wife Li Xu Xian was quite angry with her. Pu Yi then asked Wang not to come. Wang insisted visiting Pu Yi. At last, Pu Yi got angry. He shouted at Wang and said, I don't want to see you. Get out. Wang Min Tong cried and left. This was the last time she saw Pu Yi. Since then, she never visited Pu Yi. And she kept being single all through her life. Pu Yi's brother proposed to her, but she refused. During the Culture Revolution, Wang Min Tong's ancestral mansion and her treasures were taken out. She and her mother old Madam Wang lived in a small and broken room. This place was dirty and cold. After the Culture Revolution, she still lived in that place. Each month, she can get 300 yuan allowance from government. Her relatives found that her living condition was like a beggar, so they persuaded her to sell the ancestral vase. During the Cultural Revolution, Wang's gold and gems were taken, but her most valuable ancestral vase was kept. This vase was from Emperor Qianlong's time. Someone offered 800,000 renminbi to buy the vase. But Wang Ming Tong refused to sell it. Wang insisted kept the ancestral vase. Before she died, she gave the vase for free to one of her relatives in Taiwan. On 28 February 2003, Wang Min Tong was chopped by a dumpling. Then she died. All through her life, she kept practicing the old lifestyle and moral principles. Life was not fair to her, but she never hurt anyone. After she died, her neighbors said they never saw such a noble person again.